So, we are here today, well, I am here today with my bestie from Australia. She's visiting. And we decided that while she was here, we were going to make an Australian themed soap. So, I got the idea that I wanted to do a koala somehow, and then she kind of designed the rest of the soap. Um, Lara brought a fragrance all the way from Australia. It's a, she'll let you, it's some Australian. It's Australian bush flowers. So okay. it's a mix of wattle and eucalyptus and basically all the flowers from the Australian bush. There you go. So yeah, <laughs> it smells like a pretty floral. So, and then I created, I know they're in a bag, but there's all these pieces, um, extruder discs to create a koala. And then we went with a green and gold color theme, which again, she'll explain why. So the green and gold are Australia's kind of colors. That's what we use for all our sporting events. The green is the land with the gold being the color of the wattle as well as the sunshine and the sand and everything that we love about Australia. So this is what our end result was. We again extruded the koala, then we did a gradient of the green to the gold to kind of make our Australian themed soap and I absolutely adore this soap. It is so cute. Tell me that is not just absolutely adorable. So anyways, now that we've done our little intro, continue watching to see how we made this soap. And yeah, enjoy and until the next video, bye. So the first part to making this soap was creating the extruder disc. It took a little bit of time, but it was so worth the effort. You can see that's the stamp for the face. This is the headpiece, which is made with the 20, I'm sorry, the 57 millimeter. So it's using the jerky gun um, to create it. I just couldn't do it on the smaller ones. All the other pieces are 23 millimeter in size and use the FIMO extruder. So here I am just extruding the pieces. Lara actually extruded all of them except for this one. She really did most of the work. I made the disc, I extruded this one, and I did put the koalas together and I stamped them, but she made the soap for the most part. So once we extruded all the pieces, which I did not show you because it took a long time to do that, we had to put them together. So you can see that I started with the body and the arms. Um, the picture shows the body upside down. It should actually look like a wine glass. But once we figured out how the body and the arms were attaching and making sure we had them correct, the rest went pretty smoothly. I'm using distilled water to basically paint on each piece and then connect them that makes sure that they are kind of secure and are not going to fall apart and will stick together the rest was just simply attaching all the pieces getting them pulled together and yeah it's it wasn't hard like i said it just took time and you had to make sure that you were getting the pieces on in the right order
Once the koala was all put together, we then made, could start making the soap. So we were doing a seven color gradient from green to gold. We had already measured out all of the different cups and color gradient colors. So all we had to do here was basically add the fragrance and pour each layer. So you can see that the first layer was already in. We let that set up for a bit and then we placed the koala and from there we started pouring each layer after that. The colors, as you heard, represent Australia. That's why we went with the green and the gold. And I actually think the contrast between the gray koala is quite striking and I really do like it. If you want to know more about creating equal colored gradients, I do have videos. I did a whole tutorial series on that and I will link it below for you. You can check that out there. Gradients are quite fun to do, in my opinion. And now we get to cut the soap. I was so happy with how this turned out. It, they are just adorable. Lara and I, I think we both squealed when we saw the cut. We were just really happy. The koala did get slightly sideways. Um, we didn't get it in quite straight, but that's okay. It adds to the charm of the soap. So you can see it's missing its face and paw print. We have to still stamp that on. But even without the face, I still think it's cute. Like, you don't have to stamp the paws or the face on there. But I do like the end result when we went that extra step. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of this video. You can see us stamping it on. <laughs> it was a little bit challenging. Some of my faces are slightly skewed, but I think it adds to the charm. Um, and yeah enjoy we had so much fun making this and sharing it with you